This week, I'm driving the VW Amarok Pan Americana. This is the V6 4 motion. And I'm gonna be talking about how does it stack up in this extremely competitive segment. You better stay tuned to find out. Welcome back to the Auto Advisor channel. My name is Murali and this is the V6 Panamericana. From the front, you can see that you've got these lovely IQ LED headlamps, which are also LED daytime running lights. You get this nice bold front grille with your V6 badging. And overall, I think it looks pretty menacing and a really nice design that's modern and sleek from VW. So under the bonnet is that three liter V6 turbo diesel engine and it's mated to a 10-speed silky smooth automatic transmission. Develops 184 kilowatts and 600 newton meters of torque. This vehicle also has four motion, which means it is all wheel drive and more than adequate on the road, especially in those rainy conditions. At the back of the Amarok, you've got these nice rear taillights. You've got your VW badging, as well as a light bar for rear braking. You get your V6 badging, and you get a tow hitch with three and a half thousand kgs of towing capacity. Once you open the tailgate, you'll notice that it is pretty comfortable in here, a lot of space. You get a 12 volt socket as well as two lights, which are controllable from your driver's seat. One of the things that I need to mention is that you absolutely have to install the retractable bin liner. And not only for safety purposes, if you're traveling on the road, I think it's just a great addition to the vehicle and adds a bit more versatility when you're traveling those long distances. So at the back of the Amarok, there is more than sufficient headroom and there is a bit of leg room. Driver's seat is in my driving position. So it's pretty comfortable and the seats do feel quite nice with this leather as well. You get these two pockets at the top, which I assume is for maybe a phone or maybe some little, little nitty gritty stuff that you leave around the vehicle. You also get two pockets at the bottom, some aircon vents and you get a 12 volt socket and you've got 230 volt charge point. You get two cup holders in your door and you get two cup holders in your center armrest. You also get Isofix in the rear seats for the kids and rear windows are electrically operated. Stepping into the driver's seat of the Amarok and you'll notice this 12 inch vertical infotainment system. It does have Bluetooth. It's got an eight speaker Harman Kardon system, which sounds absolutely fantastic. You get one type C and one type A port in the front, as well as a 12 volt charging point and wireless charging. You do also get navigation as well as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You also get a digital instrument cluster with this lovely leather wrapped steering wheel, which is multifunction as well. On the right hand side, you basically have some control options to control your instrument cluster. And on the left hand side, it is basically your cruise control and adaptive cruise control settings, as well as the ability to turn up the volume or skip a song. So this vehicle is a 4x4 and you get to toggle between your 4x4 modes here at the controller in your center console. There is hill descent as well as rear diff lock and the ability to switch on and off your traction control. So you do get this lovely leather seats which is called cricket leather or cricket finish and you also get extra storage up here as well as your cubby holder. Now one thing I do like is that 
There is the ability to control and lock your doors from the driver and passenger side, which is always valuable in South Africa and definitely a worthy feature for all models going forward. And I'm still surprised that a lot of manufacturers don't include that in their vehicles. So the VW Amarok does come with nine airbags as well as a five-star end cap rating. You can access your driver assistance modes or settings from within your infotainment system and there is a long list of settings available and to name a few it is adaptive cruise control lane keep assist front assist rear view camera delay side assist park distance control centers rear traffic alert reverse brake assist driver alert and the list goes on i think it's safe to say that when it comes to safety and specification the Amarok comes fully loaded. So the vehicle does have a reverse parking camera as well as a 360 degree view. Now the vehicle does have several driving modes including eco, normal, towing, slippery, mud and deep snow or sand making it extremely capable and when mated to that full motion system this vehicle is pretty much unstoppable. So if you want to get into the Amarok Panamericana it does come in slightly cheaper than the Aventura at a million and 53,000 Rand. It also comes with a four year, 120,000 kilometer warranty, as well as a five year, 100,000 kilometer maintenance plan. Now, the good thing about the Panamericana is that there are no optional extras and everything you see on this vehicle is completely standard. So driving the Amarok is absolutely a pleasure. It is so refined, it really doesn't feel like a bucky, I'd say more like an SUV. And uh, you know, I think the, the level of refinement is quite mind blowing. Whether you're on the tar or off road, it still just absorbs, you know, all of those bumps effortlessly. And it's just a real pleasure to drive. The infotainment system is quite nice as well. And uh, I just don't like that the climate control menu is within the infotainment system. You know, when you're driving, sometimes it can be a bit distracting. But other than that, you know, you're not really complaining about it. And certainly, I'm sure you'd get used to it over some time. The leather seats are quite nice, very comfortable, and uh, you know, easy on uh, easy on your back, and just easy for the drive as well. I think the rear seats are a bit tight and uh, certainly not as spacious as you know uh, the p-series which feels a bit bigger in the rear but i think all in all you know this package is just it's impressive uh, i'll tell you that much and uh, you know vw knows it and uh, that's why it is one of the more expensive buckies in the market and you know even when you're on the inside of it with all the creature comforts and all the technology that you kind of cocooned in it's it's a very pleasurable space to spend your time and uh, I think uh, well worth the money in my opinion. So the Amarok Panamericana is quite an expensive vehicle and it competes in a highly competitive segment. Some of the competition is the Toyota Hilux, the Nissan Navara, the GW P-Series, but the VW Amarok certainly offers more power, a far more premium interior that's more tech-friendly, as well as a very, very refined ride. So overall, I think it's a really well-rounded package, and it's probably one of the plushest buckies in the market right now.